Hi guys. Good afternoon. Um, I just wanted to show you how I have turned these boxes into organizing for my um, ephemeras and bits and pieces. And I have one that I'm ready to cut and show you how to piece those together. So this one I already have a video on. Um, if you want to see how I cut or decorated this box and this one was cut on the long here to give it because it was a big deep um, coffee box coffee pod box and it was really deep so I was able to cut it and give it an open face and then this one it looks like from the top has four four slots and it, so I have to say, this first one was done with um, a paper. So I papered and then stamped on this one for the outside and covered the box. And this one was done in fabric. Oh, losing my stuff, trying to turn it. Um, this one was done with fabric. I Mod Podged fabric on it and then created a pocket here. And then this here is also a pocket. And then here is another pocket. So I think it turned out really cute. And then with this different trims to layer it out. And then um, this is a wax seal that I made out of used scented wax cubes. And I also have a video on that if you'd like to see how to make those and reuse your wax cubes and I'll turn it slow so you can kind of see and then this is the other side and it has the same pockets with the trim just a little bit different layout and I did not do anything on the back because this will be pushed up against the wall so um, just the front and the back uh, or left plane, and I may decorate the front later, but I'm getting ready to start this one. So I thought I would turn on the camera um, for those of you that were wondering how to do this. This one um, is also an uh, oatmeal box, and I went ahead and treated it. And see if you can see, gave it this crackle um, with acrylic paint, you know, craft paint, and then um, the Elmer's glue. So that is where we're at now. One thing that I did learn on that first box that I did is that I didn't leave um, a big enough lip. So moving forward I've made sure that I left that lip so this one because it is um, this I think I'm going to use for my uh, bits and pieces of um, trims and I'm going to stack those in here that I can use for my project but so I'm going to cut it and have the width will be the where we stack it versus the other one I cut this way on the side and then across but this one it will be cut different and I'm going to start and pick this as my opening my front side and I want it about an inch and a half so there and mark and then we want to turn it directly over and do the same thing on this side. So line that up at an inch and a half and mark it. And then our mark should be identical where we can line our ruler up to those tick marks for the front and then make our mark here. 
and then the same here from the side mark up to this corner tip. And then from this corner tip here to our side mark, like so. And that will be my line for cutting to give me the angle that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I didn't um, waste my time getting the top of this painted because I knew I was cutting it. I have to say though, on the fabric one, I did the um, whole box. I'll follow my line here. Um, and Mod Podge the fabric on it and let it dry. And then I used this piece here that I'm cutting off to make the dividers. And so they were already decorated. Now there was a plus and a minus um, that I found. The um, positive was that the dividers were already decorated. So I didn't have to monkey with it. Um, I just had to get them in there. But the second thing that I noticed was it was so much harder to cut than just the cardboard itself because we added that, I added that extra piece um, and then, you know, glued it on there really well. So it was really a challenge to cut it. So keep that in mind if you want to do it in the fabric. Okay, so now we have that nice, put it here so you can see, angle. And um, you can reuse these as much as you can to make a slot. I probably, because this is such a smaller box, might only be able to use um, a piece or something. So I'm going to set that aside for now. I have this cardboard here. It's just a scrap, and I measured the back all the way up. And I find that starting in the back is easier. So with a ruler, this one's already got a flat. Let's see. Okay, so normally I like to use the ruler in order because it helps just to kind of give a nice wing. And this wing here is what I'll glue to the side. So, and then really just kind of mush that down. Now before you attach these, depending on what you want your inside, oops, sorry for shaking you. What you want your inside of your box to look like, you know, now's the time to decorate that before Um, you attach it because it will be a challenge. So then I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to that spot. Make sure I have it squished in this pocket. Like so. And then I know I need to go beyond my line in order to Give me another wing. So we have that. And it looks like it's going to be right at that line. So I just double checked. Better to be safe than sorry. I don't have to keep cutting. And then I'll do the same thing here. And then really get that crease pushed down there. Okay, so now that I have that, 
depending on how wide you want to make these, you know, you figure that part out. And then I just trace my angle right here on the side wing. And then also here on this side wing. And then just kind of carry it across the I'm just going to trim that out. And the cardboard sure dulls up the scissors. I had to sharpen mine on um, aluminum foil twice. So now that I measure those up, I'm going to just use some tacky glue. And get it on this wing. Hopefully I'm in camera for you guys. Just wanted to say, um, I just really thank you people, guys for uh, subscribing to my channel and um, supporting me on this new journey. Um, I'm extremely grateful. So thank you for that. Okay, so there's one slot, and then moving forward and doing the exact same thing with the others. Now, with this one already having a wing in it, I'm going to end up having to put some um, something over there to help keep this stable, because that's where my uh, crease wants to keep bending, so keep that in mind. There's a learning for us which was this one, the side of the box that I've used. Okay. So we're going to do the exact same thing here. I'll give myself a wing. And these wings can be any size that you want them to be. You know, it's all preference. I think a bigger wing gives, you know, of course, better surface for gluing down. So. Mark that. I changed my mat. Um, hoping that oh, nope, I gotta go out. That's where my board's gonna be. So here, I'm gonna go out to here, about a quarter of an inch. For the wing. Um, hoping that it kind of narrowed down on that really loud background noise, that echoey thing. That you would hear I'd set my scissors down and it just, it was horrible. So please let me know if this is better. And line that up. And that ruler and then just kind of bend it. And 
and that should fit in there like so. sideways on me. There. Got a little quiet, sorry. Depending on how um, fast we can get this done, maybe we'll have um, some time to start getting on the decorations of it. These boxes, I think, are pretty useful. Um, we all have cracker box or cereal box or... Oh, I even have a big um, boot box from my husband's work boots. And I created dividers in it, and it houses... Um, a lot of um, other like all of my stuff when I'm done creating or whatever I just kind of throw it in there it's almost my catch-all box but it works really good for that and then these ones that I'm making um, I thought would be perfect for specific project specific so when you're when I'm doing um, my journal now that I'm creating my grungy journal I could also um, have all of my tags and stuff that I have just you know created ready for that project I'm going to try to shift and see this should be the exact same size because it did come off there so I'm just going to cut a wing out of here. And then also a wing out of this side. About the same distance. I don't want all that bulk on there. But I am thinking I might leave that there, trim it down here. That could be a nice extra stability. Got lucky using that. And it does fit perfect. Hmm, that's actually the same size that one is. Funny. Okay. So if we bring it about there, that would give me one, two, three... pockets these would be really cute for gift giving too oh. every time I let go of that then you have to remeasure probably how I got a little wonky last time um you know for your crafty friends or a birthday gift, or Christmas, you know, making these little handmade boxes. There's so many uses for them.
debated whether or not showing um, the video on how I did my own crackle because I know that there's other videos out there but if you are interested in seeing how I did mine just leave a comment below I would be glad to show you how I do them and I hope you're creating your own organized box if you have or have a better way of doing it please uh, let me know and what you guys use yours for Cut there. Okay, so wonder if we have enough. I bet we do. I'm gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna leave just a little lip. I like that. So I like that bottom hearing on there. moving my uh, stuff on you. I hope I've been in camera. I'm sorry if I came out of view there. way so I can get a better view. I'm just going to mark it there. And then cut my little longer here. little notch out feeling a little bulky right there said so everybody have a great weekend we uh kind of stayed home and oh perfect on Sunday um, my husband was able to kind of recuperate we were up late on Saturday our nephew had a welcome home party at the bowling alley so we were out bowling and oh Huh. Come Sunday, my elbow was so sore. Now, because this is already at an angle, I'm just going to kind of, oh, I don't want to do that. Make sure that I'm lined up right here. There. Um, so sore, and the back side of his leg. We really work them muscles out there bowling. God, I had some of those. But it was fun. And now today we're back. Back to the grindstone. Week one went fast. It always does, though. There. 
So you can see the difference if I would have um, crackled that all over the top. Um, and then use those for the inserts, then you would already be done. But I didn't have enough on this small box. So these ones maybe I'll paint or just add some paper or whatever to them. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Um, five little holders there. And you can always make them smaller or wider or, you know, however. Okay, so let's check our time and see. Yeah, okay. Well, that will do it for now. Um, I hope you guys... enjoyed this tutorial on creating the box. I'm going to work on getting it decorated and uh, add it to my add it to my other ones. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for crafting with me and um, thank you for subscribing and I hope that you guys all have a really great day.